Hello, it's James here. Paramount asked me to build a life-size transformer that turns from a car into Bumblebee. So along with Kyla, we completed the entire build and you can see those videos in my channel. But we thought we'd show it to someone who'd appreciate it. So we set up a shoot in a real garage, invited real members of the public to come in for a free tire check and then transformed it in front of them to see what their reaction would be. Yes, this really is a real garage in London. We set everything up the day before so we could be ready for 8am to capture the first customer through the door. We had around 10 hidden cameras to capture everything and myself and the crew were all hidden away so no one saw us. A jolly man's just come in, he looks so like fun. Morning, pal. Alright. Need to get my tyres done? If you want to just drive around to Bay 4, I'll, yeah. meet you, I'll meet you out there, okay? Four. Yeah. There you go. Right, Cheers. Thanks. Thanks. Cool, man. Just uh, wait here a second. Yeah. I'll be back in there. Right. Thanks. Thank you. That's a giant robot yeah. right in front of me. It's crazy to see it in real life. It's just crazy. Well, I mean, the car came to life, didn't it? Wasn't yeah. it? just started to all um, explode and unwind. It was rather a good floor show, actually. <laughs> and if you didn't even notice the car, and then yeah. suddenly it just like it becomes bumblebee, it's <laughs> kind of mad. Well, that was the end of the day, and obviously we had to pack it all up in a van and take it back home again. So thanks to Kyla for helping me with the build, and thanks again to Paramount for making it possible to build Bumblebee, the real transformer. All right, that's all for now. It was quite difficult, it had to be made out of very lightweight materials, so we tried to get it as close to a car as possible, but of course we also had to make sure that Bumblebee was incorporated in that. Those are his arms, that's his elbows, so we can do a little dance. And then I've got, the head can move as well, I'll rotate the sticks, to look all around. And there's a whole menu on here of all the transformations, so it's like a toy transformer where you have to do one bit before the rest scroll through and execute each one. It's got 12 motors and three pneumatic stages, which are big air cylinders. One of them's a drain plunger, the rest are massive cylinders. It's not quite, as, uh, quite the same as the toy. It's probably more simplistic. Finally seeing it stand up has been probably the favorite part for me. Yeah, out of all the bits that I did, definitely Bumblebee's head is my favorite. Um, so yeah, coming away from the project, uh, that's the bit I'm most proud of. Yeah, we've never put the head on before because we didn't have enough headroom to stand it up. So exactly. So quite today, glad. We didn't know if it was yeah. the right size and stuff. Yeah. But it looks, I think it looks just about right. Yeah, so today, like seeing his head on for the first time and everything was really good. Sometimes I couldn't see people, but just hearing their reactions, the sort of gasps and or people laughing, um, and you know, just having to go, oh, it's Bumblebee. Yeah, so that was, yeah, it's been really enjoyable. So every day you see it, a real transformer? Yeah. In a garage? <laughs> <laughs>